Now, the devastating fire at Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris a little early this month has focused minds on protecting our own historic buildings, such as Exeter Cathedral. The 800-year-old building has undergone a fire safety inspection recently, and staff say they're confident that should the worst happen, sufficient measures are in place to detect any fire quickly. Richard Lawrence is outside Exeter Cathedral for us this evening. Uh, Richard, they have also spent thousands upgrading their smoke detection system there as well, haven't they? Yes, and that's just one of a number of measures they've carried out. This old building here has survived the Civil War and a bomb blast during World War II. But it is that ever-present threat of a fire that is on people's minds here. After all, it was an electrical fault that was found to be the cause of the fire at Notre Dame. And everybody is very mindful of the devastating fire that was ripped through the medieval buildings here in Cathedral Close at the back of the Royal Clarence Hotel ultimately the building being lost as it was and still waiting to be rebuilt. It's an issue they take so seriously that they actually employ now a full-time fire advisor. It boasts what's thought to be the longest uninterrupted medieval stone roof in the world at more than 380 feet long, embellished with its brightly coloured bosses. But above, hidden from view, is what could be considered to be the perfect concealed void for a strong fire to develop. Bone-dry timbers that date back 800 years under the lead-covered roof. Areas that are now constantly monitored by smoke-detecting systems replaced only last year. Now we've partitioned our vaulted ceiling, which will help prevent any spread of fire. We've also spent over £50,000 last year putting in new aspirators or smoke detectors, and that makes a huge difference because as soon as you can detect any smoke, you can take action to extinguish fire. There's also a network too of pipes that would allow fire crews to attach their water systems. Hoses permanently left here are being checked and replaced this week. And on the actual roof itself, there should never be any flammable materials. Much of the work here was done after the dreadful fire of York Minster back in the 1980s. But the fact is that the incident at Notre Dame has really reinforced the need to be more than careful. But it is essential and of course you have to be constantly on your guard for um, fire. And all the electrical wiring, we've just had the five yearly test uh, carried out on that. Uh, electrical fires are a major problem with, um, uh, with hidden spaces, of course. Many of the smoke detectors that take air samples throughout the building are concealed behind the bosses. They're so sensitive that even wafting incense during a service can trigger the sensors. At major festivals like Easter, that generates smoke, so that reassures us that our detectors are working because it picks up that and, and sets their alarm off, so we have to spend time clearing, uh, getting a, a through draft of fresh air to clear the system. During the fire at the Royal Clarence Hotel opposite, fire wardens were out on the roof in case of any flying burning embers. Safeguarding the building from fire is yet another expense for the cathedral to raise funds, but vital too as part of the ongoing conservation of one of the West Country's most historic buildings. Richard Lawrence, ITV News.